Hello folks and welcome to eBay Unboxing Mania. This is Alexander A. Manzoni and I got a little bit thrown off because a package that wasn't supposed to be here until next week showed up and the one that was supposed to be here today that I was really excited about I guess isn't coming till later because for some reason we have this postal service that comes in two waves. So I already opened this item and then I said the name of the thing that I was waiting for, so I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of it, edit that out. And um, so I'm just gonna pretend like I'm opening this. Oh! This is from Orlando, Florida. Wow, look at that. Okay. Let's pop them open. What we got here? This is the tick on card. He did not do that great of a job packing that. This was not, this was big, bigger than the box. So when it was sitting in here, it was sitting in here like this. And let's compare that to what the card looked like um, when I ordered it. The order of details. I mean, I don't think it was perfect, but I don't think it looked this fucked up. Okay. 1994. Um, yeah. The, it, it's a little, okay, it's a little bit bad. It got bent a bit. That's okay. I guess I'll unbend it. I'll figure it out. Okay, this is the tick, right? So this was a cartoon back in on Fox Kids back in '94. It's also a comic, and um, I used to like them a lot. And I had a couple of these figures a long time ago. So um, each one of these dudes, they have like, they have a, a function. Like, this is bounding tick. He's supposed to, like, jump when you push him down, and he flies up. And um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's, like, a talking tick. There's mucus tick. Fluttering Arthur. This is all parodies of, like... This is the first comic that I can remember that was, like, a parody of the superhero universe. And now we've got tons of stuff like that, you know? So we got, like, um, Growing Dinosaur Neil, L. Seed, Exploding Dynamo, Death Hug Dean. Human Bullet, Man-Eating Tail, The Sewer Urchin, Post-Striking Deflator Mouse, The Bat. Now he's like the, uh, uh, a satire of, of uh, Batman, and he's just a mess. <laughs> so I always really like this series. I like the game a little bit. I read it out a long time ago, and I'm glad to have this as an addition to my collection. So what did I pay for this? Um, you order details. $18.04. Do, 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 do. Usually I would have a bunch of information pull up about these items, um, but I didn't think this one was coming in. So I just told you what I know. I know quite a bit about the tick. I was watching it, I was watching the cartoon the other day. Um, they got it on YouTube, all the ep pretty much all the episodes. And, um, it's really funny, you know, it's supposed to be a kid show, but it's pretty funny, I, I, I enjoyed it. Something good to smoke a little bit to, you know what I mean? It's funny, it is just a funny show. Um, we don't, 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 we don't. And every time they try to bring the show back, it just hasn't worked. So they try to do it live action, and even though they got, you know, um, Cuddy or Putty or whatever it was from Seinfeld, and he's pretty funny, it's just, I don't know. I just, it should have been a cartoon, okay? They should have just made an adult cartoon. New Mexico. Okay, next one. From Hot Toys, Bluff City, Tennessee. I don't think this is the item I wanted. No, this is a different thing. Anyway, let's see what it is. Oh, shit. Not 
got an MOC. These are my MOTUs, Masters of the Universe. Yes, yes. So this is Ram Man, and um, he has, comes with Ram Man action. And then here is Man E Faces. Man E Faces. His head turns, and then it, uh, I don't know if I could turn it through the, through the thing. Oh my goodness. So this figure obviously hasn't been used for a long time because his head is full of dust. And I hope a mouse wasn't like living in him or anything. Um, okay, so these figures. All right, well, that doesn't look great. Um, I probably should have cleaned it. Uh, but, okay, 19, two times one. He comes with his gun. I just really, that doesn't look good. I just want to blow it, you know? Shit. And this guy, um, Ram Man, he comes with his thing. I forget how he, um, oh, he's got a switch on his foot. Um, oh, <laughs> I was holding shut. Uh, so yeah, he has like a headbutting action. Yep. And so like, usually the top of their head is like all worn down from um, headbutting like crazy. And he's got some marks on his arms. Um, these bands around the arms usually get all worn up. Or worn down. You see, this one doesn't look good. Um, but I got these guys pretty cheap. Okay, let's see how cheap. How cheap did you get them? Let's see. I got these guys. Okay, Hoth underscore toys. Thirteen dollars and twenty three cents for Manny faces. He couldn't have been bothered to clean his face up. I mean, that's what I was going to be looking at. Okay, and then I only paid $7.82 for Ram Man. So he did combine it, um, combine the items, and um, did get a good, got money off for the shipping. So I will pre do appreciate that, and uh, just going to need to clean those guys up. Oh, I wanted to talk about Ram Man. Um, real name, Crass. Alias is Crass, Homeworld Attorney, e man dot phantom dot com by the way um species human gender male hair color blonde affiliations heroic warriors bounces his legs like coils hard head can ramp through obstacles human battering ram uh, manny faces his name is parkado human human robot monster the free free face titan titan master of disguise from eternia species human hair color red family countess betsy <laughs> German, Kirsten, Pika Blue, um, affiliation, Heroic Warriors, and the Masters of the Universe. Abilities, humans, changes from human to robot to monster. There we go. I'm glad to have uh, more Masters of the Universe guys for my collection. If only I could get uh, my boy, Skeletor and He-Man, but that's down the road because they're like $75 a piece. All right, we're going to stop here, and I got two more packages to open. So I will see you in a...